that Xiaomi Pad 6 was introduced in April and was immediately made available for purchase in China. However, it has just lately began to make its way into countries outside of China. We have been keeping a close eye on this one because for the price, it offers a fully rounded experience as well as a few extras that are considered essential. The Pad 6 immediately grabs your attention with its no-nonsense unibody design and rather large 11-inch display that boasts a high resolution, 10-bit color depth, 144 Hz refresh, and Dolby Vision certification. In addition to the breathtaking display, there are four Dolby Atmos speakers. However, there is no 3.5mm audio port on this device. You can connect the tablet to other devices by making use of the USB Type-C port or Bluetooth 5.2, both of which offer connectivity to monitors, televisions, and projectors respectively. Before moving on, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And now, let's get started. Design and Display The Xiaomi Pad 6 has a sophisticated and high-quality design thanks to the matte metal shell that runs down the back and sides of the device. Graphite gray and mist blue are the two color options for the tablet that you can choose from. The Xiaomi Pad 6 is around 20 grams lighter than its predecessor, coming in at a total weight of 490 grams. When using the new tablet for viewing content while traveling, this feature makes it simpler to operate with only one hand for longer periods of time. In comparison to the model from the previous year, Xiaomi has not made any changes to the overall design of the Pad 6, and it does not have a fingerprint sensor or a socket for headphones. On the other hand, there have been some alterations and enhancements made here and there. The pogo pins, which are used to attach the keyboard through a magnetic connection, have been moved to the rear of the device while the front camera has been moved to the long edge of the tablet. The latter change is appreciated because it simplifies the process of holding video chats in the landscape orientation. The rear camera module has been redesigned to take the form of a square, and despite its outward appearance, it only houses a single 13-megapixel camera. In addition, the module features an LED that blinks. The display has bezels surrounding it that are of a comparable modest size, and their breadth is just sufficient for your hands to rest on it without obscuring the view of the screen. Although both the Xiaomi Pad 5 and the Xiaomi Pad 6 have 11-inch screens, the Xiaomi Pad 6 has a more compact overall footprint than its predecessor since the bezels on the tablet have been shrunk. Performance and Software The Qualcomm Snapdragon 870 is the chipset that the Xiaomi Pad 6 is powered on. It is true that it is a processor that is two years old and that it delivers just a minor increase over the Snapdragon 860 Sulk that is contained within the Pad 5. On the other hand, so long as you don't plan on using the Xiaomi Pad 6 as a phone or a laptop, you shouldn't run into any significant performance issues with it. Streaming media content, checking email, navigating social networking apps, and other similar activities can all be accomplished with relative ease on the tablet. It is also capable of handling light gaming, however you may experience some lag and stuttering depending on the game. You may get the tablet with either 6GB of RAM and 128GB of ROM or 8GB of RAM and 256GB of ROM. The Xiaomi MIUI offers some helpful productivity features, such as floating windows, which allow you to bring up programs from the sidebar and have them float on the screen to help you multitask. Floating windows are one of these capabilities. You have a number of options available to you for adjusting the size of the floating windows, and you can also minimize them by sliding them to the side of the screen. In addition, there is a function that enables you to attach the tablet to other electronic devices, such a phone or a TV, by means of Bluetooth or an HDMI cable, and display the same software on a screen that is significantly larger. Pencil and Keyboard The smart pen offered by Xiaomi is of the second generation and links to the tablet through Bluetooth. It may be attached magnetically to the side of the tablet, which is also where it charges. Just recently, Xiaomi announced that the Smart Pencil 2 will also be compatible with their Xiaomi Pad 5 device. However, the Smart Pen from the first generation will not be compatible with the Pad 6. You won't have to worry about the stylus running out of juice in the middle of your work because Xiaomi claims that it has a battery life of 150 hours on a single charge. 
On the other hand, the keyboard was a practical feature for the Xiaomi Pad 6, which was a plus. It has a decent key spacing and travel, thus typing on it is a pleasant experience. The top of the keyboard is finished to seem like imitation leather and is black in color. Even if the finishing isn't as high-end as the keyboard that comes with the Own Plus Pad and it doesn't have a touchpad, it's still a handy keyboard that's worth getting in addition to the Pad 6. Battery Life The battery capacity of the Xiaomi tablet, which clocks in at 8,840 ma, is somewhat higher than that of the Pad 5's 8,720 ma cell. To keep this review as quick as possible, the battery life of the Xiaomi Pad 6 is outstanding. You may expect battery life comparable to that of an iPad, in addition to great standby time. It took around 5 or 6 days for the tablet to die after a single charge, even though I used it daily for about 2 to 3 hours, largely for streaming videos from Netflix and Prime Video. The charging capacity of this tablet is 33 watts, and it also comes with a 33 watt charger that can fully charge the device in under an hour and a half. Make Video Toolbox available for more apps. The Video Toolbox on the Xiaomi Pad 6 is one of the most intriguing aspects of this tablet. It gives users the ability to change the quality of the video they are now watching, record the screen, take screenshots, and a lot of other things. Swipe in from the tiny bar that appears in the top left corner of the screen to access this toolbox. However, it's possible that the video toolbox won't show up in most apps. This is due to the fact that YouTube is the only platform that enables this feature by default. Face Unlock If there is one thing that might be improved upon with its Xiaomi Pad 6, it would be the addition of a fingerprint scanner. There is, fortunately, a Face Unlock feature built into the tablet. This feature is not safe enough to be used for financial transactions, but it is more than sufficient for guaranteeing that no one but you can access your Xiaomi Pad 6 when it is locked. In addition to this, there is no longer a requirement to input a PIN or password each time the device is unlocked. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.